just making it up as I go. Welcome to another edition of Fit and Fire, your home for guns and gear and the fitness to do both. I'm Mark and I really appreciate you guys stopping by. So this episode I'm talking about my everyday carry or EDC. Uh, most gun guys out there are going to have some type of EDC video and um, mine's not going to be too much different from everybody else's. I'll just talk about some of the gear that I use, but I do have one thing I think is overlooked by most people and I'll explain to you why it's such an important piece to your EDC. So without further ado, let's get right into it and let's talk about my main hardware, the pistol that I carry. The pistol that I carry is a Glock 26 Gen 4 and I've got it right here. This is in a Lone Wolf Tactical uh, Appendix holster. Um, it's Kydex. It's got the sidecar right here with the um, extra magazine, which is a Glock 19 magazine. I like to have either a Glock 19 for my 26 or I carry a Glock 17 for my Glock 19. So I always like that extra capacity that I can get with it, but still being able to conceal fairly easily. Uh, this holster is extremely comfortable. I've been wearing it for about two months now, and um, the Kydex is not really abrasive against your skin, so I don't have to worry about wearing an undershirt. And on top of that, you get a very nice click with your retention. So that's something else that I really enjoy. Um, and it's a great holster, great guys. Um, I really appreciate them uh, taking care of me on this on this holster, and I'll put a link to their website down in the description below. The next thing that I carry is a knife. Everybody should have a knife with you. This is the Gerber Covert Folder. I have literally carried this thing since 2010 when I got it when I was in Afghanistan. Uh, it's a great knife. Uh, it is still sharp. I have never sharpened this knife, and it is still extremely sharp. So um, no problems there. I've worn it so much that I've actually bent the retention clip here. I've just been lazy. I just need to take the bolt out and re-bend it back into shape, but no problems there. Carry it every single day. Love it to death. But one of the things that I also have started carrying, and I did it because of my trip out to Georgia to Iraq Veterans 88's range day, it got me to think, Wait a second, I'm going to be put into a situation where I can't carry most of the stuff that I carry on every single uh, every single day. Uh, so I need something else. I need a backup and something that's going to be sturdy enough to help protect myself if I get into a situation that I need something more than my fists, which is most every situation if you're going to get into a, a violent encounter. So that is this guy right here. This is the Tough Rider from Tactical Pins. It is a very sturdy aluminum tactical pin. It is made uh, from you know, high quality aluminum and it is extremely rigid. The specifications on this is that it will withstand 750 pounds per square inch uh, along the wall. And um, on top of that, it's, you know, it's your standard hardened aluminum. So this is going to do some damage if you get in close and you need to, you know, get someone's attention to get off of you. This is, has uh, the ability to do that for you. And since it is a pin, um, it's not necessarily seen as a weapon. The other great thing about it is the clip right here. It's powder coated, so it kind of gives you a little bit more, um, you know, friction on your hand as you grip it. But it has two Allen head screws right here that you can use to pull it off if you don't want this clip. So something to consider here. This again is the Tough Rider from Tactical Pins. Uh, I really, I really think you guys should check them out. Of course, I'll have a link to their website down in the description below. Just something you may uh, want to consider. The other thing that I really liked was the fact that when I got it in the mail, it came in this nice plastic tube. This thing was far more than I was expecting. I was just expecting this to be in some little tiny box and shipped USPS. But no, this came um, in, in a box, but in this nice little tube to help protect it. So that was something really uh, cool as well. And um, great company. I suggest you guys check them out again. Link in the description below. If you have any questions, comments, complaints, manifestos, anything at all, hit me up. 
in the comments and uh, we'll go from there. Find me on social media and you can always email me as well with any questions that you might have. So with that, that's all I got this time. Here comes a high five, you ready? Here we go. If you made it this far in the video, then I'd really appreciate you guys would consider subscribing. You can do that right here. Or if you want to check out some other videos that I've got going, check them out right here. If you like the hoodies and shirts that I'm wearing, that's Revolutionary Patriot. I got a link to their website down in the description below with the discount code. And as always, keep on dropping those bells and shells. Thanks, y'all.